Good morning, people. I look like I was hit by a train last night. I kind of feel like I was hit by a train last night. It has been a while since I filmed. Um, I did a whole video about how I was coming back and that didn't happen. I have very high depression and anxiety. I'm feeling very unfulfilled and especially in this last month I have not been taking care of my body at all um, and it's really taking a toll on me. And I realized like in just under four months I'm going to be 30 years old. That was four months ago. I officially just turned 30 and I have honestly put, been putting in a lot of work to get in the right headspace. I've been filming along the way but I haven't posted because I didn't feel like I had anything important to say. So like my life currently, this video is a little all over the place. There's been a lot of ups and downs emotionally. I had a really good day, actually. I cleaned out the fridge today and it feels so good. It's like a fresh start. It's, it's really empty right now because I have to go grocery shopping. I don't film much anymore because I have a really hard time looking at myself. <laughs> I don't recognize the person that I see in the mirror, on the camera. I have really been focusing on taking care of myself both mentally and physically. When it comes to drinking water, a support water bottle is essential. And I have many. These are just a few. I just got back from my first therapy appointment. I did therapy a couple years ago when I was really struggling after my separation and I've just had a lot going on again um, and so I thought it was time to go back and talk to someone, have someone to just talk things through with. Um, my eyes are a little bit puffy, there was a little bit of crying. We talked through a lot and I'm looking forward to my next session. She's sending me some podcasts and a book to read um, just to kind of help understand what's going on in this brain of mine but I told you we're taking care of ourselves mentally and physically and you know we gotta start I'm we gotta start focusing on the mental for sure so that's where I'm at. I've been organizing my schedule and cooking more at home. Thoughts? Like the Solid three. I love it. I always wonder where all my freaking socks disappear to and I just opened my gym bag and turns out they're all in my gym bag plus sweaters and <laughs> shirts too so I'm gonna go put these in the laundry and uh yeah
my therapist says I need to start taking care of myself. To be honest with you, the easiest thing has been the gym. I have been killing it there in my workouts and where I'm trying to really focus and improve on right now is my relationship with food because I'm not seeing any of the results that I'm working so hard for because of food. I've seen a nutritionist. I've done an emotional eating seminar. I've touched on my eating disorder tendencies uh, in therapy. So I think that once I can get that repaired, I'm going to start really feeling just better and better every day. So everyone has heard of the 12 330, which is like a treadmill workout. I've tried it before. It is killer. It's a good workout. Um, and it's like, it's easy to convince yourself to do because it's only 30 minutes. But the newest trend on TikTok that's been going around is 30 grams of protein when you wake up and 30 minutes of steady state cardio. We just got home from the gym and now I'm making my go-to smoothie recipe. Um, we've got mixed berries and then frozen spinach, unsweetened almond milk. Dalton's trying to bulk, so I am going to give him full fat milk instead. Then I add in some oats. Sometimes I put banana in here. We already had bananas this morning. That's We're not supposed to blend bananas. Yeah, I don't know if I totally believe that. Me <laughs> And then some chocolate protein. and delicious. Cheers. I'm having a rough go today. Um, I had a bit of a breakdown this morning. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. I feel like a new woman. Um, is this why people get ready every day? So that they feel good about themselves because kind of like it. Might try it. I don't know. Look at this little BLT moment. Minus the tea because I don't like tomato. <laughs> but I just wanted a little lunchy lunch. That looks Holy delicious. Hannah. That was a good workout. I am a freaking tomato. Welcome to the journey to 10K steps. Ready to hit the gym? Today is a push or pull day, I can't remember. That's what we're getting after. But first, I need some pre-workout because I had the worst sleep last night. I'm very tired. Let me just pull up my sweat app. This is what I get all of my workouts from. And it is a push day. It definitely feels like I'm coming out on the other side and I'm just in a much better headspace most days. Of course, there's still a lot of ups and downs, but I'm really happy with the progress I've made in the last four months and I want to take you along for the next four months. So that is what you can expect to see from me from now on. I'm going to let you know what I'm doing, what's working, what's not working. We'll try some fitness challenges, put it all in there. And hopefully my journey can help motivate you in your journey. And we can start a little community of just supporting one another through mental and physical health changes so that we can live long and happy lives. So if you want to come along, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.
yeah, I finally did it. I finally filmed and finished the video. And I'm gonna upload it now. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, I know. <laughs>